Hey friends, today I am hanging out at the Magic Kingdom. It is a beautiful day out and I just wanted to come out, ride some rides, enjoy the ambience and just have a, a wonderful Magic Kingdom day. So, let's go do this. I feel like the crowds are really low today. Like usually whenever there's a cavalcade coming down, there's tons of people surrounding the streets, but like it's pretty bare and empty. I don't know why I'm always so lucky, but every time I walk into the Magic Kingdom, either the Dapper Dans are playing on the train station or a cavalcade comes down right at that minute. But I'm always greeted with a song and a dance. I think that's amazing. One thing I like to do is just come out and have fun. No plan and just go with the flow and just have a great time and just let things just naturally happen. I mean, you can plan on saying, hey, I wanna ride this, but I mean, just walk around until you feel like, hey, this seems like something fun to do. One thing I thought it'd be fun to do is head on over and ride the Little Mermaid. I feel like I haven't rode that in a while. See Seven Doors Mine Train going behind us? That's beautiful. I want to ride the Little Mermaid, but I also think now I want to ride <laughs> Seven Doors Mine Train because this got me all excited when I seen it go behind me. You can hear them like singing their song as you're actually going up and look, here it comes. Again. And then watch right there. <laughs> we are going to proceed to actually Little Mermaid and then possibly check out the Seven Doors Mine Train. It just really got me in the mood. I love the way that the coaster is just so smooth. I mean, it's not like a thrilling roller coaster, but it's a smooth roller coaster and I like that. So I guess we'll head under the sea. This might not be the coolest ride, but I think it has one of the best queues, I think, in all the parks. Oh, hey! Hey! Oh, boy, you want to come? Now we're about to go under the sea for real. I That was so cool being stopped in front of Ursula just for that couple of seconds because it's actually really scary. If I was a kid, I would be so scared of Ursula. I mean, the way she was like starting her spell there, that was pretty, that was pretty intimidating, don't you think? Well, look at this. It says the Seven Doors Mine Train is at 50 minutes, but we're at Storybook Circus. I don't know if it's actually 50 minutes. Oh, dang it, now it's gonna be 51. <laughs> We're gonna see how accurate the wait time is. Gracie says it's 328, so we'll see. We'll see how long it takes for us to get into the mine train. Ooh, I can hear a little, there's a walkway right here. I didn't even notice this. Kinda, kinda cool, isn't it? It's also kind of funny how I keep on getting inspired to do other things while I wait to do the thing that I was gonna do. So like I'm sitting in line for Seven Doors Mine Train and I'm looking at Dumbo and maybe after this, I'd like to go for a spin on Dumbo. Not so bad, it's 32 minutes in and we're actually on the way into the vault. Actually, I think this is gonna be like right on 50 minutes, like an exact 
50 minute wait, which is actually pretty decent for Seven Doors Mine Train, considering the fact I've seen the wait times up to like an hour and 40 minutes. So this is, this is a win. It's a win. Check this out. Oh yeah, the back row. I love the back row on the mine train. I think it's a lot better than the front. And the total wait time was just about 40 minutes. Not too shabby. Thank you. Oh boy. Oh, that was quick. Woo. I almost lost my phone. It just fell out of my pocket. <laughs> Woo! I got no one to rock with me. Come on, let's do it. Keep the ride going afterwards, even. <laughs> there she is. That was a lot of fun. I'm telling you what, I need to get new shorts or something. My phone keeps on slipping out the side pocket there. I need to get ones with zippers on them. I remember one time my phone slipped out of my pocket on Expedition Everest and it just laid on the floor all the way to the end of the ride and I just had to sit there and hold it with my foot. Now, like I said before, I think I'm gonna hop on over to Dumbo. I don't know why, I just got the urge to ride Dumbo. And it actually looks like there's more people waiting for popcorn right here than there is waiting in line for Dumbo, which I don't mind at all. Thank you. This way to Dumbo. I think I'm gonna go to the right. I've never really done the right on Dumbo. Usually it's always to the left. Oh, we gotta pick a Dumbo. I think I want the green one. Yeah, this is the one. Waving at. You raise me up. Oh boy, we're going all the way up. <laughs> wow. Oh, look at I get a view of the barnstormer coming right through there. <laughs> oh man. Oh, here it comes. I love it. Fly, Dumbo, fly! There it goes. A little bit, a little bit. Oh, oh, easy, easy. Thank you. Dumbo really knows how to lift the spirits, man. I tell you what. I can't help but smile when I ride Dumbo. It's just such a fun ride in all the colors, the circus music, and the water, and Dumbo. It's really awesome. I'm gonna head on into Tomorrowland though now. I'm just gonna hang out over there, listen to all the futuristic music, and I don't know, just enjoy Tomorrowland. This is a fun day, like just going with the flow. 
It's hard to say what my favorite land at the Magic Kingdom is. I think Tomorrowland is probably up there for me. But what's yours? Let me know in the comments. Like, what, what do you love about, like, your favorite land? Is it the sounds? Is it the rides? I mean, I love everything over here. I mean, it has the People Mover, Space Mountain, Carousel of Progress. It's got so many rides that I relate to that I actually enjoy. And I also like the area loop music as well. I think a close second would be Adventureland for me though. Definitely a close second. Speaking of that though, man, I wish I could go for a spin on the People Mover. <laughs> soon though, very soon. I might actually be more excited for the People Mover to reopen than actually Ratatouille itself. I mean, Ratatouille I'm really pumped for, but when People Mover, you know, didn't open back up with the parks, I mean, I felt like I lost something. Now I think I'll hop in line and maybe grab myself a coffee or an espresso and just kind of relax and enjoy and get hyper at the same time. I'm going to relax and enjoy and get hyper at the same time. That's how we do things at the Magic Kingdom. They got a seasonal latte. It's the Fairy Tale Love Latte. Espresso, milk, dark chocolate, caramel, and coconut. I think I'll pass on that and just get my regular nitro cold brew, but that seems like it's a little fun for the coconut and caramel fans out there. That's the good stuff right there. Thank you. Vanilla and cream. Gonna go sit down and drink my coffee, but first uh, we'll say hi to Stitch. What is he doing? <laughs> what? Now it is time for some Tomorrowland coffee. Oh, that's good. That is good. I love just sitting around people watching. Got people flocking over to the stage to see Stitch. Some people rushing on over to Space Mountain because it's a 30 minute wait. And then a whole bunch of people over there kind of waiting for Astro Orbiter because they only let one person up in the elevator at a time. Or one group up at the uh, elevator at one time. So that's what makes that always a long line. Regardless, it's cool just sitting here and taking in all the sights and sounds and everyone being happy and enjoying life. Now I think I'm just going to move along and keep on enjoying my day here. Coffee really keeps you going now. I love Joffrey's. I don't know a lot of people are go-to Starbucks like in the parks I think I'm go-to Starbucks outside the parks and then Dunkin Donuts, but when I'm in Disney I'm always about Joffrey's. I want to see if they got any new spirit jerseys Even though the cold season's coming to an end. I still like to use spirit jerseys in the parks It's such a tough fabric and it's not too heavy But it's enough that it actually keeps you warm in case it gets chilly at night so that's why I like to wear them so much. They have so many different types of spirit jerseys. I love spirit jerseys, but I'm more of like a parks like spirit jersey. Like I like, I like my Epcot spirit jersey, I like the holiday ones, but I want a spirit jersey that I can wear all year round. And they have some really cool new ones, including some Run Disney ones and Star Wars ones. So I'll give you a look at them. Here's the Every Mile is Magic 2021 Run Disney spirit jersey. This is pretty fancy. I like the little uh, one armband right there. And then over on this side, they actually have a lot of different Star Wars ones too. They have the different Star Wars planet ones, including Cloud City, which I hear is very hard to find. This one's really nifty though, isn't it? But like I said, I like, I like darker ones. This one is nice, but I, wanna, I think I wanna get like a black one. In all honesty, I'm probably just going to end up getting one of these ones. And these aren't actually spirit jerseys. These are a little bit of a lighter material. And I like this because it's a long sleeve shirt. And it still has like that retro Walt Disney World D. I love it. I think I'm going to get one of these. And they're only $39. So that means they're like much cheaper than the actual spirit jerseys. And that's really awesome. Wait a second. Have you ever been walking around the parks and then all of a sudden your belt breaks? Well, have no fear because you can get a belt right here at the Emporium. Look at that. Oh, and they actually put security tags on them. That must be a high theft item right there. I also like how it just says Walt Disney World right down the side of the sleeve. Very fancy. 
That's a good deal. It was only 30 bucks with my discount. Oh, also, do you guys like my monorail shirt? My mom bought this for me. Thanks, mom. <laughs> wow, and holy moly, for some reason, I just realized this is the first time I'm seeing Magic Kingdom without the Christmas tree here. They didn't even put Rory back yet. Oh, here comes a cavalcade. Might as well get a good spot. I'll go where Rory usually is. Thank you. Oh, very good. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Woo, that was awesome. And now Peter. Oh, look at that. And Mary. Oh, I love Mary. Oh, you got a landing on the other side too. That was like the highlight of my night. The cast member who was following Gaston and his trusty speed called my name. He knew who I was. I'm such like a fangirl now, but that cast member, I was like, that's me. That was awesome. Wow. <laughs> and since the area where you would come out from a meet and greet with Tinkerbell or Mickey is closed down, this seems like a great place to just come over and relax. If you want to get away from big crowds or loud noises. I like it. It's a nice little garden view over here. But, anywho's, I think that's gonna do it for me. I think uh, I'm done with my random day at Disney. Like that magic came, I had so much fun. Rode Seven Doors, Mine Train, Little Mermaid, Dumbo, walked around, did some shopping, got some coffee, hung out in Tomorrowland. This seems like a very good day. Like this is what I'm talking about. Being so happy and blessed to be able to just come here whenever I feel like it and just walk around and have fun. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit different. And, uh, yeah. We'll see you next time. Bye!